October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and victim advocates in Ohio are working to pass a law that would help protect survivors of strangulation. Amy Steigerwald joins us live this morning. So Amy, Ohio is really behind compared to other states when it comes to this issue. Yeah, that's right, Tim. While major progress has been made when it comes to increasing awareness and uh, resources for survivors of domestic abuse, Ohio is still the only state in the country that does not have a strangulation law in place. There is hope only if Ohio lawmakers work fast, though. Right now, the potential of Ohio getting a strangulation law is up in the air as it sits waiting to make its way through the Ohio Senate. House Bill 3, also known as Aisha's Law, would make strangulation a felony in the state of Ohio, just like it is in all other 49 states. I, I don't have an answer as to why we're still fighting this battle. Domestic violence advocates say they have been waiting for this law to pass for a long time, hoping to prevent dangerous and potentially deadly situations for victims of domestic violence. So as advocates in the community, we're really looking for another mechanism um, to hold offenders accountable, particularly offenders who use strangulation that really addresses the seriousness of the, of the crime. Todd Curtis, senior investigator with the Wood County Prosecutor's Office, has more than three decades of law enforcement experience, specifically when it comes to domestic violence cases. Curtis says in the majority of domestic violence homicides he's handled over the past 30 years, Strangulation was almost always a precursor to that homicide. So it's a telltale sign that things have gotten uh, violent, that the level of violence has increased, and that person is in serious jeopardy of losing their life. The next event that's going to happen is going to be an attempted murder or murder. So why doesn't Ohio have a law already? State legislators have tried to bring it across the finish line before, but have not been able to get it passed in time. And now if lawmakers cannot get it through the Ohio Senate, before the end of the year, the process will once again start over, something domestic violence shelters do not want to see. We've seen increased levels of violence being used in domestic violence relationships. There are more survivors who are um, reporting increased physical assaults, and that includes in stra increased strangulation. Now, I did reach out to our local senators to see what, what they plan to do about this issue, how they plan to bring it to the finish line by the end of this year. I did hear back from Teresa Gavarone. She tells me she's been a supporter of this issue from the start, and she does plan to make some sort of move for it to come for full Senate consideration by the end of this year. Live in downtown Toledo this morning, Amy Stagerwald for WTOL 11.